noted Jackson artist, Robin Ladwig. Hi, Robin. Hello, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank Good. you. Robin and her uh, Coastal Custom Art are uh, sweeping the art world. And Robin, I wanna tell you about something that happened to me um, last Sunday. We went to see my mother-in-law at uh, Arbor Manor and the first thing that uh, we all noticed was she was wearing uh, a necklace that you had created. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, like one of these? <laughs> yeah, like those. It's, <laughs> and it was, it, one of the neat things about your art, it's you've got a signature style and it was easily and instantly recognized. Oh, that's great, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So how is how are things going? Are, is uh, coronavirus affecting your business? Um, it, you know what, it's affecting my business with the art um, in that I think I've, I've had a lot of orders for mm -hmm. commissions and I just think that's because people are at home and kind of looking at their walls and um, wanting to see what they want to do with it. So that's been a positive for me. and. Our other business is Culligan Water Conditioning, and we've been deemed essential, so we're still operational, and things are going well. Good. Well, I know one of the things that um, you've been able to do over the last couple of years is increase your presence in, in gift shops and galleries, and obviously people aren't able to see in person your works. Are any of your galleries or gift shops able to um, have an online or curbside um, function? Yes, they are. Um, some states are definitely doing that. Others are not. You know, I, I have some stores that are completely closed down until all of this. And um, hopefully they'll be able to reopen. I mean, that's one of the issues, I think, with the coronavirus right now and in, in businesses. It's a little tough. But yeah, definitely like Rustic Market and Village Peddler in Brooklyn, they're, um, they definitely have um, an online site so you can buy things and then they're brought right out to you to your car with like a we call it like a no uh, contact service so that's that's been great yeah well we've got uh, some of your pieces that we're going to take a look at that will uh, show our viewers and all of these pieces i know are available online too because you have a, a website where people can um, find your yeah. items yep Did coastal, you custom. coastal custom art so which, which did you start with? Was it um, with pieces or paintings? How, how did you get, get, it, get started? Um, with with uh, the art itself, I just have been pretty much teaching myself all of these years how to, to do what I'm doing and find my niche. And um, I absolutely found it in epoxy resin. Um, I was able to um, and my goal the entire time was really to recreate the coastline um, with real sand, um, found beach objects, things that um, have special meaning to people, be it a wedding that they have on the beach or special family vacation or cottage that they have. Um, and so that brings me a lot of joy. And that's pretty much how I started was trying to find a way to, to be able to accomplish that. Um, and then... Um, whatever I can find, be it the jewelry line or a shell or something else like a, oh, like charcuterie boards even, mm -hmm. um, I can pour my median on that and that can be a takeaway memory as well. Some of your works, they look like aerials of, of beach and ocean, but you're actually using sand. You, there's physical sand in your, in your work. There is. Yes, the sand is captured within the resin, so it doesn't move anywhere. It's, it just stays in its place. Um, and same thing with found objects, be it sea glass or shells or something like that. Yeah, it just makes, if, if you didn't realize what you're looking at, you, you could really easily mistake these as photographs of, uh, of aerial um, scenes. Oh, well, thank you. That's the best compliment ever because that's my objective is to be able to do that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It was ex exciting last um, September, I think, when um, the Veritas was unveiled to the community and one of the highlights of the rooms, your works of art are hanging all throughout the restaurant. 
Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't see them right now. <laughs> Except, right. <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, Brandon wanted me to uh, mention that this was shot last fall before COVID. So this is not this. Yeah, there's the date on uh, November uh, 27th. Robin, I see behind you some of your uh, paintings. Is it possible you could uh, take your camera around and show us a little bit about uh, some of your work at your home? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn the camera around real quick here. Uh, this is uh, my home studio. And uh, these are just some of the paintings hanging in here. Nice. Thank you. I think I was at Veritas one night when you were also out for dinner with some other couples and I think one of those couples actually bought one of your paintings off the wall that night. Oh really? Oh that's wonderful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the idea. You know, everything on the wall at Veritas is is for sale and it is. Everything's for sale in there. Um this is just some of the sand collection I have. I don't know if you can see it well. I'm not very techie oriented. <laughs> so hopefully nobody's getting sick with my the way I'm holding the camera, but that's just some of the, the sand that I have. Um, and then I'll go around here to the other side um, of the studio and just kind of show you what I have in here as well. That's amazing how, how varied the colors uh, and looks like textures of the sand are. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a part of it that's just um, super cool to me. When I look at, um, for instance, if I get a close up right here, you've got Dubai and Madison, Connecticut, Aruba. You can see they're all just different uh, textures, colors. I mean, it's pretty cool. A lot of uh, the Michigan sand is is kind of the same, but mm. um, which is interesting as well to me that you have all these lakes in Michigan, um, especially like Torch Lake is absolutely beautiful with the colors. And the sand is the exact kind of the same as um, as it would be for Browns Lake hmm. or Lake Michigan. Well, you think sand is sand, but I guess not. I and know. And then Dubai Desert, did you actually go to Dubai to get a jar of sand? I did not. That okay. would be really <laughs> But um, No, a lot of the sand has been given to me by um, some of my customers, and also people have just sent me sand that I that just contact me because they follow me on social media and they um, say, you know, here's some sand. I might want to do something with it someday. So I, I do keep that for them and I put their name on it. And, um, but yeah, it's, it's super cool to get sand from all over the world, Australia, mm -hmm. Dubai, you know, Jensen beach, Florida, which is, you know, my hometown down there, but it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Especially during the winter here to be able to oh. have all that. Sand. <laughs> so people want, they want to commission you to make uh, a work of art using their favorite vacation sand or beach, right? Yes. That's a great idea. And yep. Is that your favorite beach, your your home and your hometown? And is did you say Destin? Um, it's Jensen Beach, Florida. Okay. And um, I mean, I, yeah, I guess so. It's a beach I grew up on, mm. so sure that would be one of my favorites. But I don't have, to be honest with you, an absolute favorite because. It's just the, the different types of sand are super interesting from like Siesta Key has that powdery white sand that literally is almost like talcum powder. Um, and then you get like Shell Beach in California that has, um, it's literally shells crushed up. Hmm. So it, it's, it's just interesting to me. The black sand beaches are really nice. Um, I have one that um, a friend gave me from Iceland, from a black sand beach in Iceland, and that is all lava rock pretty much crushed up. Um, I have another friend who's given me two different beaches of uh, black sand from Hawaii and um, green sand, actually. That's one of, if I, if I know this right, it's one of three green sand beaches in the entire world. Hmm. And it's kind of an army green color. So that's really cool too. Oh, neat. Yeah. Well, your work is beautiful. Thanks for sharing some of it with us and our viewers today, Robin. Thank you so much for having me. Hopefully everybody will be able to go and to Veritas soon and be able to see it in person or in the meantime, visit uh, Coastal Custom Art online where you can um, see all the works of art.
Thanks, Thank Robin. You. Everyone stay safe. Thank you. Stay safe as well. Nice to see you. Hold, hold on for just a second. Robin Ladwig from Coastal Custom Art today, checking in via FaceTime. Uh, stay tuned. We've got lots more, including